I spent two weeks working on my multiplayer shooter Power Lust, but um, some things didn't quite go to plan. If you don't know what Power Lust is, it's basically a team-based top-down shooter with lifesteal. You fight another team, and you have to try and steal all of the enemy team's health so that you can win. In this video, I tried to make a lot of progress on the game, but some things took longer than expected, and some things just straight up didn't work. There's one main thing that I'm not really happy with right now, and that is the amount of bugs in the game. I haven't fixed any bugs for ages, and they've just been building up, and the problem is I haven't been writing them down at all, so I don't even know what bugs there are anymore. So I'm gonna go and find as many bugs as I can, and then go and write them down. So I've done some bug testing, and I found a lot less bugs than I was expecting, to be honest. Like, I was expecting to get a very large amount, but we only have probably about 10 here, and most of them are small things. But anyway, I'm gonna probably just get to work on this now, now that we've got a full list of everything. Some of them seem like they're gonna be a bit of a pain to work out, but most of them are just small glitches with the UI and stuff, so it shouldn't be too bad. I've just fixed, like, all of the bugs in a single afternoon. Like, they're all just done now, and there's no more bugs in this list, apart from, well, the template card, that it's just done. Yay! I don't have to deal with bugs anymore. At the moment, everything is actually going pretty well. In one day, I had managed to find 10 bugs and then fix them all, and because of the small size of the project, that actually means I was mostly bug-free. Last night I was working on designing a player character for the game. I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do for it, so I needed to work out what I wanted to make before I made it. My first designs were a little robot guy who was holding a gun, and then also a robot guy who had who had the gun attached to the arm, so he just like holds his arm out and shoots. But for both of these characters, I could foresee a problem where it just feels too rigid because the player character would constantly face your mouse and even if you move it a little bit their entire body would turn and the arm just wouldn't move at all. Although it would be an easy fix with some code, I it might not really work so I kept searching for ideas. I thought why does the character have to be humanoid? So I designed a spaceship looking guy. I really like this idea, so I redesigned him again, but in this final version, there were two shield things on the side of the thruster. And the problem with that is that if you move in any direction except the direction you're facing, the trail will just clip through the sprite. So I came up with a solution. Just make it so that the gun part of the player rotates to face the mouse, and the body rotates to face the direction of movement, and that was pretty simple. But I also came up with a different solution which intrigued me. What if I made it? So you could only move forward, but you move the same direction you're looking. I thought this was a pretty cool idea, so I decided to test it out, and it does actually make combat really interesting, because if you want to reposition anywhere during a fight, you can't actually just move there anymore, because you can't shoot the enemy, and it also makes you an easy target, so you actually have to think about stuff. If you don't think about it, then you'll probably just end up dying. Obviously, this is quite a big change, but I do plan on doing some more testing, and if it goes well, this might just be how the game works now. But before I get to spriting the player, I'll give you some footage of this new change. During the playtesting, I discovered that I was struggling to win fights. At first, I just thought it was because I wasn't used to the new movement system, but I eventually realized that because of the new movement system, if you try to reposition, you just lose. You can't run away anymore. I've been thinking about the new movement system because, well, I've been having some problems. The combat doesn't exactly play out how I intended it. During fights, you end up in this weird spirally thing, you just aim at the enemy, hold left click and W and it doesn't really make for exciting combat. I want players to reposition more, but when I tried repositioning and playtesting, it just doesn't work. The other player just kills you so extremely easily and there's just nothing you can do about it. I've been thinking about how I can fix it, how to make repositioning the best strategy, but unfortunately I haven't come up with any good answers. I thought about adding contact damage, I thought it could discourage players from getting too close, and that would make sense, right? I think this is probably the most logical solution, but I also have a few others. I thought about making the player unable to sprint while shooting, and the idea here is that the repositioning player can get away without 
the attacking player immediately following and just undoing all of their progress while shooting. This could make it a bit easier, but I can still see some big flaws with it. Going with the um, opposite approach, I thought about rewarding players for for being further away. I I could increase the I could increase the damage of the projectiles as it travels, meaning you could deal a lot more damage if you're further away from the enemy. But the reason I don't like this is because if both players are because both players will end up with the same benefits, so it doesn't really matter if you're right next to each other or on the opposite side of the map, the same person will probably still win. Going back to the unable to sprint while shooting idea, what if I made it so that your projectiles do more damage the slower you're moving, with maximum damage when you're standing still? Although, that would probably just make it so fights just end up as players just standing still, which is probably even less exciting than it is now. I'm honestly not sure what to do here, and I'm worried that it just won't work out. Maybe maybe we should just go back to how it was before. The more I think about this, the more that's sounding like a good idea. Recently I've been trying to work out a good solution for this new movement system, but I eventually just got tired of trying to come up with a solution and decided to just start experimenting, which turned out to be a really good idea. I implemented the contact damage system and the you can't sprint while shooting system from earlier and it actually made a pretty big difference, but the contact damage was a bit buggy and also didn't really add much because I discovered that players didn't really care about the extra damage, you both take damage so it's still even. So I removed the contact damage and just added some extra mobility by making dashes better and also allowing you to move backwards faster. I also nerfed the fire rate of the gun and, and that basically just fixed everything. Honestly, I'm super happy that I managed to solve this problem. I was so close to giving up back then and going back to the old system. Alright, the player sprite is now implemented into the game, it has a coloured outline based on your team colour, as you can see I'm on pink team, and it also now has a trail that's the same colour as your team. So yeah, that's about it, player sprite is now done. I want to do a bit of an overhaul on the space station map tile map, because some of the art, it doesn't line up properly. This is just slightly off, and at the end of every chunk, every block, there's a gap that's just slightly too long, and I want to fix it. So I got to work on the new tile map, but little did I know that this would turn out to be a huge mistake, because after this point, everything goes wrong. If I knew that, trust me, I would have never tried to change the tile map but I didn't know and I had to deal with the consequences.
I've just spent like three hours doing that and the end result, it, it wasn't even worth it, like it actually, it was probably even, oh and the map's invisible again, why is this happening? I'm so sick of this. So I spent like ages working on the new, on a silly little tile map, a silly little upgraded tile map. And it, there were so many problems with it. For some reason, Affinity Designer, when I export this, this um this sprite sheet, it's anti-aliases between these, so when you when you cut it up into a so you can use it in Unity, you can clearly see the lines between each tile. And I couldn't fix it. Like I spent ages on that and it didn't even fix it so I had to go and export each one of these individually and then I after that after all of that I discovered it didn't even look better it was still terrible and now now the maps invisible for some reason and I don't know why you can't see anything it's still here you can still collide with it and the weirdest thing If I go onto the tile map, there's nothing wrong with this. And if I just change the color, nothing happens. But if I press undo, what? It appears. Why? What what happened? It's super weird. We'll do it for this other one now. And just take note of exactly what the settings are. I'm not even gonna change anything, and then I'm just gonna hit undo. Huh? Wait, what? This makes no sense. And it's happened it's happened with every tile map. Every every single one does this now. Even the minimap is broken. And I don't know how to fix it and I don't know why this is happening. Remember last vlog when we spent like hours working on the minimap upgrade and most of that was spent on adding the tile map? Well, yeah, guess what? It's the, rot the rotation of everything has been reset for some reason, which basically means I have to do it all again. Because of course, of course it's messed everything up, because why not? The worst part is, I did that, I worked on the minimap, and that was like right after my last backup, and I haven't made I haven't made one since, so I can't just restore it from a backup. So I have to go through and fix all of this manually. I've just spent a few hours going through and just fixing the minimap. It's like, yeah, it was a bit tedious and it's probably not fully done. There's probably a few things here and there that I need to fix up with the outlines. Like there might be a few things that just have the wrong rotation and stuff. But I've I'm I've had enough of this. I've spent way too long on the minimap just fixing up all of the broken rotations on everything, and I'm still annoyed that that's happened. But anyway, I'm as you might be able to tell from the version text watermark up here. This is the full release version of Beta 1.1. I've gone ahead and done a few minor bug fixes and stuff, and I've basically just. I, I basically just had enough of this, like, like, I've been, I've put so much work into this update, like, with all the, with the whole UI overhaul and everything, and to be honest, I'm starting to get a bit burnt out, so I'm definitely going to be having a break after this devlog, and after this update, but for now, I'm, yeah, I'm going to need to go, like, edit this video, record the intro and outro and stuff, and also make the change log for my uh, uh, beta testers. I'm gonna need to upload that to H.io as well as this version. It's gonna be a bit of a pain. And yeah, I have I have a few things to talk about in the outro, which I'll hopefully remember. If I don't, then it'll be in a pinned comment, I guess, unless I forget that too. But I will see you all next video.
Thank you so much for watching this video, we've made a bit of progress on the game, we finished up the beta 1.1 update for the game and of course unmade some progress because game development doesn't always actually go to plan. If you enjoyed the video make sure you leave a like and a comment just to help out the video in the algorithm because that would be really helpful. I will be taking a break from Power Lost after this video for a few months. I have something planned but you'll have to wait for my next video to find out what which will probably be in the usual two weeks after to this one make sure you subscribe and enable notifications so you don't miss it but yeah that's it from me see you in two weeks bye